Hey all, today I'll be showing you my method of how I color insects. Um, in this case, we're going to be coloring a curly hair tarantula. So let's just get started here. I always start my colorings with markers first, as I want to get the base layer done. And then from there, I'll start adding details and more depth. So we'll get started here and add some of the light parts. So yeah, we're just going to continue, fill in the whole spider like this, and then we're going to start adding some more darker tones in certain areas. And uh, once we're happy with how everything's filled in, we can move on to the, the details and using our pencil crayons.
during this process your main goal is to actually just block out the darkest areas and the lightest areas and then from there you kind of have your baseline of where your light and details should go um, and then that makes it a lot easier to move forwards and you don't get stuck like you know drawing one little thing forever you kind of block out the whole image first and work in layers start kind of rough cover everything do another pass with a little more detail cover everything and then eventually if you keep doing these little passes and different layers and you'll get a lot of detail out of your drawing All right, so we got our first little brown layer done. So I'm gonna move on to a darker brown now. I get some of those areas, like um, the rump back here, it's a lot darker than the, the carapace up here. So we're gonna add this darker brown right back here. And keep in mind, this is kind of like a ball. So if the lights coming from up here this little area there will be a little lighter so you don't want to cover the whole thing we will move on to pentacrons where we can add a lot of shadows ourselves so you can still be quite loose with this all right so we got that all these little inner legs they're going to be darker as they're closer to the ground and further away from the light. Just like that. You could already kind of see that adding some depth here to our, to our spider. These here, dark by nature. And that one there. Kind of the way these spiders are is in every joint of the leg, it's kind of dark as because there's a crease right there, and then it flares out. So you almost want to hit every joint, just to add some darkness, like right at the crease right there. And the foot pad is kind of a full circle, so I usually always darken those completely. But I add a bit of a gradient here to the legs. Just like that. spinnerets back here they are thin so we're gonna make them dark so they pop out a little more so detail that up And here I'm going to use a very fine, um, like a fine line marker, so I can just add in these little eyes right here. There we go. Those will get 
recovered eventually, so no worries there. All right, we can move on to working with our pencil crayons now. So this is kind of where I like to start adding color and then I'll go over it with some dark and then we can go from there. So let's see in here, there's these carapace markings are a little sandy looking. So I have this uh, sand prismacolor marker that we're going to use. Actually, there's a little halo right around here that outlines the carapace. There we go. And add that in. Cover it all a little bit, just get some color variation. Over here. Bit of lightness on this one as well. trick for me to add the fuzziness here is I want to almost pull off the page just like that so you can kind of start adding a bunch of fuzzy lines to indicate the fuzziness that the spider has so here we go kind of shooting upwards there right there and it slowly disperses, it gets lower, so. Hairy carapace. Here we got some hair as well. I just kind of go and add it to some of the legs just as like the, the first layer of fuzz, I guess, that we're going to have here. Later, I might even improve these shadows to kind of show, show the fuzz in the shadow. Always fun. there so you can see I'm just kind of being quite messy with this just going through every leg kind of adding where the the fuzz would go each leg kind of shoots it out in a different direction so you just kind of follow along and see some areas that need to be desaturated so I'm going to put some grays Here I'm trying to darken the legs now as we'll be doing some, a kind of burnishing effect afterwards. But my main goal here was to have, you know, these lighter 
sandy colored hairs sticking out after after the fact so this will kind of be a layer that shows up later on as well you'll see what I mean soon covering some of these areas darken them Here I'm not pressing very hard, I'm just kind of going over everything um, just to darken the overall base here. And this kind of pencil texture will also give it a fuzziness. Okay, so now. Now this is a burnishing step, so either you can use a yellow pencil crayon or I have this colorless uh, blender I'm gonna use this one sorry it was a white pencil crayon not a yellow one they're a little small so I also use this tool here to make it a little longer and then it's easier to use so basically my goal now is I'm gonna use little circles and just cover the entire spider again smoothen everything out and then I'll come back afterwards to add some more crisp details so here we kind of just want to smoothen this out make sure the outlines are good kind of get everything blended you can kind of see how that softened everything in there So I got a little lost here, so what I'm going to do is give it a little outline and add some white hairs on it. Then we can go back in and we'll work on it. We still have to darken some stuff and add a lot more details, so we'll make sure that leg's popping out. Uh, smoothing out the carapace is, uh, or the rump back here is the most fun because you can see it kind of really gives it like a nice smooth texture. It looks rounded. Uh, 
So you guys can see how easy this process is so far. going to go in with some black um, and some areas need to be darker namely in here just like there a lot of these legs kind of give them that like creeping shadow depth around where they meet with the body or other leg segments Darkness here through the center of the this head there. I like these being dark still. These are kind of like the base segments. Okay. I'm gonna add some more white to where you know the kind of highlights are. And then we're gonna go over this again. some brown just to bring the color back to this it's not a completely black and white spider so Now while we're here, we're going to add some darker hairs. Some hairs catch the light and some make shadows. So you need to remember to have 
dark and light details. I'll get these out. It's good to have a sharp pencil for this as well. fuzziness to these legs. They are floofy tarantulas after all. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just go back in with the black again, just to really accentuate some areas that might have been caught out by the light. With some really dark spots to, you know, give us contrast. Like that. Now, my favorite part actually is the way we're gonna add some major details is this white gel pen. And we'll start here, we'll just add for the eyes. That. There's some areas where we have little hairs coming out. very bright catching the light so we do want to be pretty conservative using this um, we don't want too much white to show up Sometimes these gel pens are a little finicky when you're going over a colored pencil just because it's wax based so the ballpoint and this you know doesn't roll around as well but it kind of makes it easier because it it's harder to overdo it with the gel pen so I'm putting a lot of fur here at these front knuckles kind of just because they're the closest to us, other than the feet. Um, 
and it'll kind of help you know guide your eye towards the carapace and back of the spider okay so now we're almost done here i'm gonna work on fortifying the shadow a little bit and my favorite way is actually using these shading stumps because they already have some graphite on them um so i'm able to kind of get that like smooth you know if i just pull from there i can get that like smooth shadow to come out so we'll get to doing that I always like to have it darkest like at the touch point so like right at the foot pads and then kind of like fade it out as it gets closer to the body and like add we can even add some of these fuzziness to the shadows why not I like that there. We'll get in there. Okay. I'll use this sharper, newer one to actually help add some of that fuzziness. So. Oh, it can give us a bit of an effect. And I'll use it just to blend right at the foot pads. Like that. Alright. Once I get to this stage, I just take, you know, a regular kneadable eraser and I kind of Clean up around it. That's that. There is, you know, how I work on coloring a spider. Let me zoom out for you guys so you can kind of see this. This is a drawing from the last video. If you haven't seen that, please check it out. Let's go back in. Give you guys some more detail there if you want to see. Perfect. So you can see that, you know, it didn't take too long. It was about half an hour. Um, you can obviously spend a lot more time on this and go in a little more detail. Um, hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Let me know if you want to see something else colored or drawn in the next video. And if you made it this far, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.